Hey everybody and welcome to today's training call. We have a lot of amazing stuff and we're going to have an action packed 60 minutes, one hour ahead of us. So it's very, very important that you treat this differently than any other video, any other webinar, any other training that you're going to be at today, this week, this month, this year, and make sure to close down everything possible to make sure that you're one 100% laser focused. Here's me. You're about to bring our featured speaker on on the stage, and we're going to be talking about this thing called making a book. And what was the the title of this uh, this event here, Lance? Can you switch back to that? Today, we're going to be talking about how to speak out, not write, not edit, not pontificate, not spend six years on a book. We're going to talk about how to speak out your full book in an hour and become a published author this week. So the great thing about uh, you know this thing about the internet and internet marketing is that it's super easy to get online. But the problem with that is that well everyone else has now discovered your dirty little secret, right? That you can go on there, make a website, put up some articles, put up a video, put up a product, and then boom, in a couple of days, now there's this whole fully fledged business. And so that was great at first when no one else knew how to do that but you, but now everyone is able to get online and so we need a way to differentiate ourselves to stand out from the crowd and one of the best ways to do that is by having this thing called a book well why because of all the things that have changed in the past decade or two about you know what's impressive what's not well the one thing that hasn't changed is even though there's I don't know how many millions of books out there if you yourself are a published author if you have a book that someone can hold in their hand with your name with your picture with your message on it well then you're gonna stand out from the crowd from a lot of people and the new secret that they don't know and that they don't want you to know is that it's super easy now to uh, have a book and it doesn't even have to be that long. It can just be more like your calling card, more of like your, uh, you know, a couple of things that are important to your business. And what's even better is that it doesn't cost you anything to put out a book. It, uh, you don't have to have a, like a garage full of books. You don't even have to talk to anyone in order to have a book published. You can literally go to two different websites. We use one for physical books, one for digital books. You upload a Word document in a certain way, format it in a certain way, and then boom, you're online. So, uh, and the best part about all this is that Lance and I know that a lot of you don't like to spend a lot of time on stuff. You don't want to spend eight weeks to think about, you know, what's my book going to be. You don't want to write for 10 hours a day. And so the best part about what we're going to be talking about today, what Mr. Lance, I'm sure, is going to be showing you, is that, well, he hates writing. And I don't, I can't even remember the last time he wrote anything. And, uh, but still, he is going to be publishing a book live on the internet today and later this week, a physical book you know of the exact same thing so if you want to be able to you know get that extra edge and have a book if you want extra business uh, you know to come to you every single day and you want this to be easy and fast and you want to be able to do it even if you hate writing I mean everyone leaves a step out of actually getting the book out there well then we're gonna have mr. Lance Tomashiro show you today how to speak out a book in an hour get published this week so make sure to close everything down and write in the question box I don't have a marker but can you write in the question box the word book b-o-o-k and we'll know that we're ready to get started so go ahead and here's the marker real quick so I'll say write down the word book b-o-o-k used to be a scary thing but now it's something where if you just follow a couple simple rules a couple simple steps then you yourself will be a published author so please help me in welcoming to the stage a published author himself mr. Lance Tomashiro what's up Lance not too much, thanks. And you know, it is amazing to see this chat box absolutely blowing up. When we decided to talk about this and to do this uh, exact presentation and webinar, you know, it was one of those things where I didn't know what the re what the sort of uh, reaction was going to be from all of you guys. And I am like blown away. And this webinar is going to be a lot different than most of the webinars that Robert and I typically do for you guys. And in fact, what I want you to do is make sure you do have something to take some notes with today because what we're going to show you is literally I want to give you guys the step-by-step -step on how to do what I'm going to show you yourself I want to give you the step-by-step -step to planning out your book planning out your articles planning out your blog post literally planning out anything that you want to create content for and do it step-by-step -step. take that what to say how to say it how to get it turned into an actual document so that you can either publish it on your blog, publish it anywhere on the internet, create a book out of it, do whatever you want. And the neat thing is, is the way that we have this sort of chunk down is that, well, it scales. 
So if you want to create an article, well, you do it once. If you want to create two articles, you do it twice. If you want to create a book, you do it 10 times. And you can keep doing it over and over and over again so that it's these really small bite-sized chunks. I'm going to show you how you can do this so that it's easy. And I don't know about uh, you guys. I know, first of all, the neat thing about Kindle and about Amazon and about all of these places that we have available to us on the Internet right now is that there's immediate built-in traffic. And not only is there immediate built-in traffic, but there is also this sort of, well, there's this thing that where everybody's afraid of writing a book, right? Where it's overwhelming to write a book. And for me, I mean, that was the biggest holdup. And, you know, Robert said he can't remember the last time uh, that I'd ever, I've written anything. And, you know, it's true. The last time that I wrote anything, and he actually reminded me of this, so I went back and checked in his email the other day, was four years ago. And that was a blog post. That was the last time that literally I sat down and wrote any content that I have anywhere in my business, anywhere online. And the reason is because of this system that I'm going to share with you guys today. And because of that, well, it transforms things. It's no longer overwhelming to write a blog post. It's no longer overwhelming to write a book. And my big holdup with writing a book over all of these years, and we're going to actually publish mine today with you guys all live so you can see how we actually go through and do all that. But my biggest holdup has been I can't picture in my mind how to do it. I mean, I know I've got a lot of topics that I should have books about. I know that I've got a lot of things that would really be helpful for people to see. My problem is, well, I sit down and say, yes, I want a book. And yes, that would be cool. And yes, that would give me some authority. But the problem I have is it's just overwhelming. I mean, I don't know how to lay it all out. I don't know exactly how to go from this idea of, well, here's what I want my book to be about, to structuring it, to organizing it, to knowing exactly what to say, and that's what we're going to get you guys all over today as well, in that if you chunk up your book and you start thinking about it in smaller pieces and you start asking yourself the right questions and you start doing the right things, well, the structure writes itself. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that. And like I said, today is a different webinar than I've done in a really long time, and here's why. I sent out uh, in my email to a lot of you guys uh, that have shown up here today, what is your biggest holdup? What's stopping you from writing a book? And what's cool is, well, I got back basically five answers, five questions, five things that were holding you back from getting your book published online. And so literally, this webinar is your webinar. This webinar took those questions that keep kept coming in and the that were common between all of you and I'm gonna answer them all for you today because our goal is to have you up published and getting some results having that book to show to your prospects to give to your clients and to give you that extra authority in your niche because no matter what's been going on with this whole digital age and how many people talk about you and how big your social media presence is and how this or good your product is here's something that has not changed and that is whether it's on Kindle whether it's physical having a book gives you instant authority you want to get on TV have a book you want to be uh, interviewed on the radio have a book you want to sell more products than your competitors guess what if you have a book that's the difference that's going to get you over the edge and so when I questioned you guys about what you needed to get your first book online here is the top five things that you guys all sent back the first is that there is a fear of failure and I understand this and a fear of failure meaning what if it doesn't go right what if I can't get it done what if if I start and don't get it finished? What if nobody likes it? What if I can't get people to see it? What if I don't know what to write about? Well, it's valid. I mean, I used to have this as well. When I first got started, and I've told you guys this many times, that you know, I used to have my wife read my emails. I used to have my wife proofread or like watch any videos. I used to make her go through my products because I had that same fear of failure. And I'm going to show you how to get over that so that you can get your book done. But after that, that's the mindset part. People didn't know exactly, you know, how do I plan a book? What, what do I say? How do I organize it? What do I actually put in it? Well, luckily for you, if you follow the way that I'm going to show you today, that becomes crystal clear and easy 
all at once. In fact, if you do it the way that I'm going to suggest, you don't have to have all the parts and pieces together all at once. They'll sort of start to fit together, and you'll see what I mean. Also, people didn't know technically, how do I do it? I mean, now that I've got my book in a Word document, how do I like actually take that, that document, create it, format it, get it into Kindle, what do I need to know? I'm going to tell you all of those things and I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to go from now I've got my book in a document to actually putting it online and publishing it. The next thing was that people thought, well, you know, mine's not perfect. I've got all of the content, but I don't have illustrations. Or I've gone through and edited it once, but I know that there's still problems in it that I want to have it corrected later. So this whole fear or this perfectionism was holding a lot of you up. The neat thing is, what I'm going to show you today is, what well, doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. Getting it out there now is what you want to do, and I'm going to show you why that is as we go through uploading and publishing my book right for you. Then the big, big final one was how do I actually get people to see it? I mean, it's one thing to have a book. It's another thing to sell copies or to have people wanting copies or to actually get it ranked on Amazon. I'm going to show you a real quick way to do that, and I'm going to show you a couple of other things that you can do. But most importantly, I want you to understand how Amazon ranks its products so that you can actually make sure that you are ranked on these. So let's jump into this. And I want to start, first of all, with the whole idea of this fear of failure or this, you know, not knowing if your, your book's good enough or not wanting to put yourself out there or not wanting to spend a bunch of time in order to, well, not get the result that you want. And I love this quote, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. It's by Winston Churchill. And I mean, think about this for a minute. How many people, I mean, we think that success is this whole like destination that we're going to get somewhere. And, you know, for a lot of us entrepreneurs, that's something like if I only made $10,000 a month, whew, I'd, I'd have it set. If I only sold a thousand copies of my thing, I'd be a success. And the truth is that that's not true. That that's why you see so many entrepreneurs go out of business because they define success. They define success as a destination, as a goal. And the truth is, is that you are, are never will achieve success if you're doing it the right way. There is always something more that you can be improving on. There's always something more that you can be doing to increase your results. So don't think of success as a destination. It's not final. The next thing is, is that so it's really important out of this quote is that failure is not fatal. That if you fail, you know, embarrassment doesn't last, last forever. And if you flop, you flop, but you've learned something for it. And that's where the real courage comes in. And so many people get caught up on this whole idea that if I don't make it, that's the end of it. The truth is, is that we've all failed a bazillion times at anything that we're good at in life. I don't care if it's learning how to talk, how to walk, how to read, how to do anything. We've all overcome this stuff. And guess what? We've all lived through a bunch of failures in our lives. And you know what's funny about failure, too, is, you know, those are the things that we look back on and we think this is what made me stronger. This is what made me the person that I am today. And, I mean, it helps you realize that a lot of you, no matter what you've gone through, and myself included, the failures are the things that turned me into a success. So the important part is that the courage to continue is what counts. So no matter how many times you fail, fail at whatever your goal is, continuing is what really, really counts. And I want you to just stick that into your head because we're going to overcome this fear of failure. And the thing about fear of failure is it's natural for a lot of us. I mean, especially when we're doing these things online, when we're starting our own businesses, it's natural because here's the thing is that you know, a lot of us, I know this is how it was for me, is I didn't know how to explain to people what it was that I did. And then all of a sudden to say, well, I'm going to come out with this book. I mean, that's, that's scary too. And people don't understand that we sell information products online, that books are now digital as well as physical, that home study courses and information is what has real value today. And so we have this fear of looking 
well, stupid in front of our peers, in front of our family. I mean, if you've ever really like told, sat down when you were first getting started online, I mean, for me, when I told my parents that I was quitting my day job, my corporate America job that I'd had for about 10 years, made a six figure income that I was quitting it to do this thing called information marketing. I mean, they were like, you're insane. What are you doing? Who quits a job like that? And what is it that you do? I mean, I had this real fear of looking stupid. And here's what ended up resulting of that is that Robert and I came up with this thing that we like to call the mom test. Okay. And the mom test is, can you tell and be proud of whatever it is that you're doing online or in your life or whatever? Can you explain to your mom what that is? Can you explain to your mom that I have this book that teaches people my system for losing weight? Can you tell your mom that I have this book on teaching people how to set up a WordPress site so that they can increase their business or keep in touch with their families and be proud of it? And once you use and can pass the mom test with whatever it is you do online, well, the fear of failure kind of goes away because it gets rid of a lot of the insecurities. And I mean, not to call anybody out, maybe you guys know some people like this, maybe you guys have done this, I did when I first got started, is that, well, what did I do? Well, I built a list of people with emails by you know, having other people send traffic to my squeeze page so that I could get more people on my list so that I could trade that traffic with other people to get more people on both of our list. That's the truth. That's what I did. But I can't tell my mom that. My mom, if I told my mom that, she'd say like, well, it sounds like you're scamming a bunch of people. Well, it sounds like you are doing a pyramid scheme. Well, it sounds like all of these things. And so getting the mom test will get you actually through this fear of failure because, well, I mean, it's something that you can be proud of. Now, here's the other thing about fear of failure. And I talked about this at the very beginning. I used to have my wife read my emails, my blog posts. Anything that I was coming out with is basically uh, I would have her look at. But here's the thing is that this fear of failure is irrational. And all that it's really doing for you is basically holding you back from achieving your goals. It's holding you back from being successful. Because if you really think about it, chances are that you have conquered this fear of failure before. Whether it was getting your driver's license, asking somebody to marry you, um, learning how to swim, how to read, any of these things, you've conquered it before. And that's what makes you who you are. So if you start thinking in terms of, well, fear is not fatal, courage to continue is what counts, right? That the fear and these overcoming it has got you where you are today. And most importantly, this whole idea of the mom test, being able to explain to somebody like your mom exactly what it is and having them say, wow, that's cool. You've got a book. Wow, that's awesome. Do you know how many people don't get to there to be able to do that? Then you will automatically overcome this fear. Now, the second part of overcoming fear of failure, besides this sort of mindset type stuff, is, well, if you have a step-by-step -step plan that you can actually implement, that if you know that if I follow step A, step B, step C, step D, that I will achieve the goal, then what becomes really easy to do, right? Because you're not looking at the big overwhelming piece, just like with your book. You're looking at what is the first step that I need to take. What is the second step that I need to take? And if you know that you have to complete step one before you go to step two, well, it becomes suddenly less overwhelming because you're only looking at the step that you're on. And that's why if you plan your book properly from the beginning, well, this whole fear that we have about putting ourselves out there, about is it good enough, about can I finish it, will overcome itself. So a lot of people ask, well, how do I plan this actual book? Because let's face it, writing a book can feel like a daunting task. And it's definitely overwhelming if you let it become overwhelming. But the good news is that it also keeps your competition from doing it. So let's keep this secret here with us. Because here's the thing, is that if you don't think about sitting down and writing a 100-page book or a 150-page book, well, that's the whole secret to it all. I don't want you to think about writing 100 pages 
were writing 150 pages. I mean, I remember when I was in like high school and the teacher would say, you have the whole semester to write this 15, 20 page report. Man, that sucked. I could not do that. I had months to do it and it was like the hardest thing to sit down and write 20 pages. Why? Well, what am I going to write for 20 pages? What do I know for 20 pages? So I want you to remember this secret throughout this entire process that you don't want to think about sitting down and writing a 100 or 150 page book or however long of a book that you want. I don't want you to think like that. Okay? What I do want you to do is start thinking in questions. I want you to start thinking in questions, not about the whole, but in questions. Because here's the thing, you're an expert in whatever it is you want to write a book about, right? I mean, you're all experts in whatever it is, whether it is, you know, playing cards, golfing, losing weight, uh, running marathons, whatever it is that you're passionate about, you're an expert in. Now think about this, since you are an expert in whatever you're going to write a book about, cooking, whatever, if I asked you a question about your niche, could you answer it? If I asked you a question about your niche, could you answer it? So if I said, what is the best way for me to lose weight? Could you answer it if you're in weight loss niche? Or I said, what is the best way to choose a winning stock? Could you answer it if you were an expert about it? What is the best way to improve my golf game? Could you answer it? And I'm guessing that every one of you could, that you could answer any of those questions, a similar question, I mean, put in your niche at the end here, whatever that is, could you answer it? The answer is yes, of course you can. But here's the thing. Could you answer it in just three minutes? So if I said, you know, Diana, you're in the lose weight niche. What is the best way for me to lose weight? Could you answer that in three minutes? If I said, you know, Pearl, you're in the golf niche. What's the best way to improve my golf game? Could you answer that in three minutes? Well, the answer is, I don't know, maybe, but I want you to think in chunks, and here's why. Because those questions are too broad, right? There's no way you could answer those in three minutes, right? But those are what your book would be about, right? You might have a book on losing weight or choosing the right stock or improving your golf game. So you couldn't answer those questions in three minutes, but you could create smaller segments, right, from those questions. So now think about this now, right? Here's what I mean. You could, could you create smaller segments? So if somebody came up to you and you were in the golf niche and you said, what is the best way to improve my golf game? Well, the first thing that comes to my head if I'm in the golf niche is, well, I mean, what do you mean what is the best way to improve your golf game? There is a way to increase your putting score, to increase your driving score, to increase your mindset, to improve uh you know, your short iron game, your long iron game, your chipping game. We've just come up with six subtopics under that, right? But if I ask you what's the best way to improve my golf game, immediately if you truly are an expert in your topic, the next thing you're thinking is well, which section are you asking me about your golf game? Are you asking me about driving, chipping, putting, short game, long game, mindset? What is it? fixing a slice, fixing a hook. Now all of a sudden we've just come up with eight different subtopics that you probably can answer in a couple of minutes, right? Those become the topics for your book. Because again, it's hard to sit down and write a book about golf. It's hard to sit down and write a book about becoming a better cook. It's hard to sit down and write a book about everything you need to know about WordPress, but it's easy to answer questions. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think of your book as the big question. The what is the best way for me to, right? And then I want you to break it down into smaller questions. See your outline starting to form itself all by itself? And then I want you to answer those questions and I want you to record yourself. And think about this. It doesn't matter if you're talking about Nonfiction, fiction, 
how to, this formula will work with anything because even in nonfiction, you've still got the, the storyline, the art, the how, where the, the story's going and you still can break it up in these exact ways. You don't need to think about everything all at once and how to tie it together. Keep it small and chunk it down. And I want you to answer whatever those questions are and then I want you to record yourself doing that. that. Okay? Why? Because the key is the questions. The key is the questions, not statements. Be why? Because if somebody asks you a question, you are compelled to answer that question. It's just human nature. It's the way that we do things. And it's easy to answer a question. I mean, try it next time you're sitting down and writing something or speaking something out. Take, take a title and start with how to play better golf. That's hard. I don't know. But if you ha have it as somebody asking you a question, how do I play better golf? Well, now, if you're an expert in your topic, you can talk about it forever. And that's how I want you to start changing that mindset about writing the book. It's a qu series of small questions, not statements, because you have to answer that question. So here's the thing. I'd love to give you our exact book outline, the one that we use that works for any single niche. So to take it one step further, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a little minute. But what I want to do first is I want to go from you've got these things. I told you that I want you to answer these questions, and I told you I want you to record yourself doing it. The reason I want you to record yourself is because then I want you to take it, and I want you to have it transcribed. Okay, and you guys have probably heard a lot about outsourcing and transcription and is it expensive and how do I make sure it's good and all of that. I want to just show you how to do that step by step right now. So I want you to record yourself with whatever you've got and then I want you to follow this formula I'm going to give you to get it transcribed. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to dictate. That's answering a question and recording yourself. Then I want you to post a job on a place like Odesk. That's what we use. No secret. We use Odesk to get all of our transcription done. I want you to post the job. I want you to interview the applicants for that job. I want you to hire somebody. I want you to check the results and I want you to pay them for it. And If you do it the way that I'm going to show you, post the job, interview the applicants, hire them, check your results. The awesome part about it is the thing that you get back very rarely needs any edits. And if it needs some editing, well, it's really a matter of search and replace or fixing grammar or things that you were saying, but it's not like you get this big jumbled mess. You get back a verbatim, word for word, what you said, and if you do it right, they get rid of the ums and the likes and the you knows and all of those other vocal pauses that we use. And you can go straight from that dictation to having everybody else do it and you're ready to make your book right off the bat. And the cool thing about it is that this is super, super cheap to do. In fact, my last podcast that I did was 32 minutes. I had it transcribed for $2. $2. I got it back. I stuck it in a Word document. I put it on my blog. Now people can uh, download it, and I've got a nice little report that all I did was took it, put it up there, have it transcribed. $2. And here's the other cool thing. It was $2 by a U.S. citizen that wanted to do it and was happy to do it for $2. So here's how you do all this. Let's go through this step by step. The first I told you is I want you to do dictation. You have your questions. I want you to answer them. So next thing is what do I use? How do I do it? I'm going to show you exactly what we use in our business. The first is the hardware. I use a Logitech USB clear chat. 350 wired headset. You can get them for like 35, 40 bucks on Amazon. You can use the fancy one if you want. I don't. This is the one that I use. The cheap one works perfect and it gets the results that I want. The important part for you to remember is it has to be wired. Don't get the wireless one. Your sound quality will go down. You want the USB one that plugs right into your computer. So you get that so that you can record yourself and so that the transcriptionist will be able to do it really quick and really easy for you and it gives them the quality that they need. That's your hardware. The next thing you need is some software. So what I want you to do is record it in Camtasia including the video and then just export the audio. Okay. 
and then you get it transcribed. Now here's how you get it transcribed. I want you to group your audios. Remember, just do them in three minute answers to questions. Just three minute answers to questions will give you about 500 words per section and I want you to group those audios up into you know one hour packs, a little bit less if you want and then I want you to submit them for, tra for transcription. Okay, so when you're doing that Here's what you're going to do. You're going to, like I said, you're going to post a job, and then once you post a job, people are going to apply for that job. Okay? You interview them, you pick one that you want to hire, and now there is a contract between you and that person to deliver what your transcription back for you. Okay? Then what you do is you take your audio files, you upload them to your server or to Dropbox. Uh, or any of those type of places and you send a message to your worker with the zipped audio files in them and then when they're done they reply with the text files or your transcription and then when you're happy you end the contract and you get paid and I mean here's something I just want to show you really quick what we do is we actually have this whole section where when we want to post a job we come into uh, our site we click on post a job we fill out a couple of right here so how many audio files do you have I might have you know five and those might be you know 15 minutes and I want this to come back to me let's just say on July 29th oops let me put in the right thing here July 29th I hit OK now all of this stuff is telling me exactly the stuff that I need to know for my to have my transcription done and it makes me a complete job posting for me okay so all I have to do is put in some information it calculates I would chart I would have somebody pay I would pay somebody four hundred and fifty dollars sometimes less for it to get my five audios transcribed hit copy to clipboard and then I would post this as my job Okay, and if you don't have that, that's all right. You just do it the same way. You just post your job, how many audios you have that you want them transcribed, and that you have them in MP3 format. Okay, and then if you're happy, you end the contract and they get paid. And no, that wasn't $450. That was $4.50. Okay, and then what you do is you get it transcribed okay so you dictate it you post the job you interview people you hire them then you check your results and pay but here's the problem is a lot of people maybe you've gone down this rabbit hole too before this is a post that we found where people do outsourcing and they're worried about it wrong and so somebody said you know first we began by sending our jobs to India it was a bad mistake then on somebody's advice we sent it to the Philippines that was a bad move then as the last resort I paid more than double what I was being charged overseas and brought it back to USA and then they go on and on about this guy and all this stuff and problems they had and he was drunk and all of this and then the worst part is and if you've ever dealt with outsourcers this happens they go silent meaning you, you don't hear from them again so people are looking for how do you get real results for transcription and if you follow the system the way that I'm showing you and actually test them and make them go through well then you'll get better results but here's the thing I don't just want to tell you like hire people and all this I want you to make sure that you hire the right person so that this stuff doesn't happen to you and if you'll notice I mean my whole process back here if I go back so this was my I'm posting a job but if I go back I've got all of this all set up in here so I can invite people I can interview people and it's the same thing um, I can it cut and paste everything that I need to do and you should put together a system like this as well because here's what you want to do so you don't go down this rabbit hole of bad transcriptionists people that disappear people overcharging you and it's what we call the qualifier and it's our secret weapon for hiring the right people okay Here's what you do with the qualifier. In somewhere inside of your job application, you tell them you must put this phrase as the first sentence in your application and a different phrase as the final sentence. Okay? So, for example, what we will do inside of our job description is somewhere in the middle, we'll put, you must put the words, oh yeah, at the very beginning of your response to this job posting. And 
at the end of your reply, you must put the words, I've fallen and I can't get up, so I can be sure you read and understood this description. Now think about that. That means that if anybody puts something in that doesn't start with, if they start, thank you, I would like to apply for your job, boom, you don't get hired. Why? You can't follow my directions. If you can't follow the simple directions in my job description, there's no way I'm going to trust you to follow the instructions about the job description. So the very first words must be a secret word, oh yeah in this case, and the very last words, not their name, not their signature, not anything else, must be a different secret word. And what this does when you put them through this is it helps qualify them as someone that understands English and reads instructions. Okay, And if you do this, this will weed out over half your applicants, if not more. And so you just see them and you go, is my secret word at the top? Nope, gone, 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 gone. And it's going to weed a whole bunch of those out right away. Okay, so what that does is it gets you to the point where they can actually, you can find out if they can follow the directions that you put out and that they've actually read what your job is, but now you want to make sure that they can actually do a good transcription, right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take one of your three-minute recordings and I want you to upload just that three-minute recording and I want you to test them. I want you to say before you are hired, you must give me a sample transcription, not one that you've already got, one of my voice, one of my stuff, so that I can see not only how good it is, but how fast it comes back, right? And you give them that, that one article, and here's the thing, you'll decline the losers, the ones that come back slow or that aren't good, but you'll interview the winners, the good ones for it. So you give them that one article to transcribe, about three minutes, and if you're happy with it, you'll hire them for the full job. Now here's something that you should know about that. this, is that the people that you'll end up hiring, at least the ones that we do, they bid under budget normally, and when they do the test, it comes back in about 30 minutes or an hour. Okay. Three minutes at a normal speaking pace will come out to about 400 words, 450 words right off the bat. And you get that back and you can look at it and see if they're any good. Right? So you pick one of these people and then what you do is you hire one. So once they're hired, you send them a private message inside of Odesk with a link to that zip file of all of the audios you actually want transcribed. And then you ask when they'll have it back. Right? That way they have something to respond to you directly. You ask them when they're going to have it back or if it plays for them or if they downloaded it, but something so that they have to respond back to you so that you don't lose contact with them. Then here's how you name them. So group them all together and name them as a group. So for example, you might name them map A, map B, map C. So map C would mean the third or the C group of articles promoting make a product or of articles that are going to be part of whatever book that you're making. But if you group them like that, then you can hire out a bunch of different outsourcers so you can get it all back at one time. And then what we do is you got to track all of the, the jobs that you've got. Who's got them, how long they've had them, uh, how much they're going to cost you. Make sure you get everything back for your book. And here's what you want to do. Make a spreadsheet that's got a date column, the worker name that you hired, the minutes of audio that you gave them, the price that they charged you, and the name of the package that it was so that you have all the information that you need. And this is what our spreadsheet looks like. I mean the same thing so we keep track of how many words were in it when it came back, what it ended up us costing us per minute. So it ends up costing us, you can see like some of these cost us 36 cents per minute. This is audio minute that we sent them. 11 cents, some $2, uh, some a dollar. So this was over, let's see, one and a half million words being done. And the average we come out to over that, and it's come down since then, $22 per audio hour to have subscribed, so transcribed. And it comes back like perfect. So I'm going to show you how else you can get this exact spreadsheet from us, but you can create the same one just by using these columns and creating your own as well.
Then what you do after you've got a transcript back is, well, if you're not happy with the transcript, respond to them with the changes you want. So for example, one of the things that first came back to us, and we include this now in our job description, so if you have lots of things that keep coming back the same or not working right, add them to your job description so you don't have to deal with this anymore. But if when you're getting started, you don't have like a great job description and you're still building it, tell them these things. You know what, your paragraphs are too long. I want them broken into two or three sentences a piece so it's easier to read. Or you didn't take out all my ums, you didn't take out all of my ahs, or you sent it to me as a Word document instead of a text document. Whatever those are, send it back to them. They'll be happy to make those changes for you. Okay. Plus you're hiring them. That's what it's for. And if you are happy with what's come back, will you end the contract, you pay them, you leave them feedback, and you leave them a comment. Okay. And the reason is, is that after you do all of that, you save them to your favorites so that when your next stuff comes around, well, you can just invite them and you don't have to go through this hiring process once again. So as soon as you post your job, you go to your favorites and you say, hey, I've got a new job. You click a couple of buttons and they're told that to come back and work for you again. You've left them good feedback. You had a good relationship. You paid them. They're eager to work for you again. Okay? So when you get stuff transcribed, you dictate it out. You post your job. You interview applicants, you hire somebody, you check your results and pay. If you do that, you will have a much better outsourcing uh, experience and you'll get back better results in your transcripts. Okay? So once you get all of these things back, we want to turn them into a book, right? So you take all of your transcripts, you put them together into a Word document, and that's all you got to do. Copy and paste. Put it in there and put them in the order that you want them in and then what you do is you get a cover made on fiverr.com okay now here's our secret to getting a cover made look at other books in your niche or in your category find ones that you like find ones that are ranking high and ask the fiverr person to make something similar Literally, you can send them a link to the Amazon Kindle book and say, I like this cover. I like these five covers. I'd like something for my book with this title to look something like these five. And you'll get back something that you like and looks similar to what's already selling. Then what you do is you upload your Word document or PDF file, whichever you have, straight to Amazon. And you've got yourself a Kindle book. And then the same thing applies if you want a physical book, you upload it to Amazon CreateSpace. And the thing is, is it's so easy, so easy. I'm even going to show you right now. We'll just go ahead and do this and publish mine out here live because I want to show you some other things about like promotion and getting people to read as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. If you don't know this site, you want to go to kdp.amazon.com. So kdp Kindle Direct Publishing .amazon .com. and here's the cool thing if you've got an Amazon account already that you buy stuff with or sell stuff with all you do is click sign on with your Amazon account so I'll sign in put in my username and password here and then we'll be inside of the direct Kindle Direct Publishing back bookshelf is what they call it what you want to do is click on add new title okay now here's something really important you guys want to know how to rank on Amazon how to get people to see it enroll in what's called KDP select the reason is is because for five days out of every 90 days you can just let Amazon promote it and give it away for free so that you get lots of people downloading commenting and looking at your book and you get to do this five days during any given rolling 90 days and now here's the awesome thing about this is the way that Amazon ranks products is based on the last time it was sold how pop that's how they determine how popular it is so it's some function of the last time it was sold or downloaded and and how many of them were actually done so when you use KDP select you can get on the top 10 list of whatever niche you're in really really fast and easy so you enter in your book title and details 
This is pretty easy. We'll do uh, income machine. And let's see if I have my, we'll, we'll just start with this right now. It doesn't have to be perfect now because here's what I want you to remember. You can go back and change these things at any point and it's updated for everybody that's already downloaded it, including your cover. So if you upload your book, you figure out that you want to add new images or you want to do some more editing or you want to change or add new stuff to it, guess what? You just re-upload it and it's automatically changed for everybody that has downloaded it before. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I've got the full thing here. We're going to put in our title. Thank you, Robert, behind the scenes for grabbing that for me. And what we're going to do is this book is not part of a series. We're going to scroll down here to the description. And I've got something pre-written here that I'm going to paste in. And again, we've got a formula for exactly what you want to uh, put in here. But I'm just going to put a description uh, in here for now. And so you have to have a description of your book. You have to add at least one contributor. So for now, I'm going to put just myself in here as the author and do save. Can skip all of uh, this ISBN. They'll give one for you. You want to make sure that you put this is not a public domain work since you made it yourself. You want to choose some categories, okay? So for mine, for now, we'll put this in business. And I think there is one for, let's see, we've got here. We'll put this in entrepreneurship. Save that. So I've got my category, some keywords. Um, how about make money at home, uh, internet business, uh, successful startup, let's see, startup, how about successful small business. Okay, and you get to put in seven keywords there. If you have a cover that you've got made on Fiverr, upload it. If you don't have one yet, well, don't worry about it. You can add it later. So all we'll do is, I've already got a cover here made, so I'm going to browse for it. I'll grab this one. Upload our image. And for the cover, uh, what you want it to have is, like it says right here, you want this uh, ratio to be one 0.6. So if you tell your graphic designer that, uh, that they will know what that means. Otherwise, what you want to tell them is you want it to be at minimum 625 by 1000. Okay, 625 by 1000. So you upload your image here. Then what we'll do is we will uh, enable digital rights management. And then I just want to upload my book file. So if I browse for my book, I have a Word document here that's just got all of my articles, uh, my transcriptions, copy and pasted. I can upload the book. And what it's going to do is it's going to upload that Word document, and it's going to convert it to the Kindle format for me. And then it's going to let us see how it looks. So for now, I'm just going to let this go, and we'll do save and continue, and we'll come back and look at that. It'll take a few minutes to do. We can publish it worldwide. For my royalty, I'm going to choose 35%, and you can change this at any time. For now, we'll put this as $2.99. Oops. I'm going to change this for now back to United States, so I don't have to fill these all in. And another big one, you want to put allow lending for this book. And then you want to do save and publish. Oops, what did I miss here? Oh, Amazon.ca, set automatically. There we go. Save and publish. Oh, did I not get, oh. So we'll go through here have Amazon set them all automatically so they do the conversion on the price for us.
and save and publish. Okay, so our book's now being published. It'll take 12 hours, up to 12 hours for English and 48 hours for others. And you can go ahead and review what it looks like. So if I come back, oh, now it's in review, so I can't see uh, when it's there. But as soon as this is done, and like I said, it'll take a day or two, they'll come back, I can look at it, and now it is published and will be listed in the Amazon uh, Kindle directory. And then what I'll do is come back and I will start my KDP Select campaign so that Amazon for five days will give it away for free and boost my rankings and get people talking about my book. And it really is that easy. In fact, you can also take the same exact PDFs or documents and get physical books made by uploading them to a site called createspace.com and have your book published physically so that you can sell those as well. And it's just as simple. It's the exact same process. And so here's what I want for you is I want you to upload your Word document to Kindle just like I just did. And then I want you to upload your Word document to create space so that you have a physical book. And I want you to publish a handful of short books to Amazon this year and next year so that people can find you, so that you can get publicity for your book and your products, and so you can become an authority yourself. And I want you to have fun doing it so you'll want to repeat the process over and over and over again. And here's the thing is that most people think that you know they need to be famous to sell products or books or whatever it is online. And the thing is is that it's now not hard anymore to get published or to become famous. They say that it's too hard and it takes too long. Well, not anymore. Now all it takes is about an hour of you doing recordings, getting them transcribed, uploading them to Kindle. People say, well, I'll have to get it edited. And, well, here's the thing is I'm going to show you how to get your book edited for cheap and it's optional. People think, well, I don't have a book cover. You don't even need one with Amazon Kindle and you can get one made for five bucks on Fiverr. People say that ghost writers don't sound like me. You know what? They won't. And if you've ever had to try something ghost read, or it sucks. You want it in your voice, the way that you talk and the way that you would quote write. So the solution is to dictate it or use the interview model. In fact, we showed you one of our books up here that we've got that's the Secret Conversations with Internet Millionaires. That's exactly what this is. It's interviews with people that have built successful online businesses. So if you don't have a topic for a book and you want to be branded with a lot of cool people, that's a great way to get it done as well. And outsourcing a book sounds really expensive, right? Well, it doesn't if you've got the right system. And here's just some of them. These are Roberts that he's got done. These were made on Fiverr as well, one on podcasting, one on writing articles. And you saw the one that we just put up right now, which was the Income Machine book, The Real Secret to Building Your Passive Recurring Online Income and Designing the Life that You Deserve. So I want you to get your books online, your articles online, your blog posts done quickly, easily, and cheaply, but I also want you to get a 1,000 readers and downloads in one day. And so how do you do that? Well, you use Kindle Publishing. That's the Word document. You upload it there. You get your $5 cover made. You enroll it in KDP Select and the Lending Library so that Amazon will promote it for you for five days every 90 days. And you will be shocked at how many people take you up on this. You also... Uh, list it in several free directories and there's also some great places to promote it on Facebook and I want to show you how to do all of this in a systematized way because you can do what I've given you I've given you the exact system and fumble around and figure out how everybody wants it done and you can do it a whole bunch of times and you can figure out what does work and remove the things that don't work or I can just do it all for you and I want to show you how to do all of that in our make a product course because I want you to claim the all of the unlimited free traffic you deserve I want you to use this for your 
blog posts, your articles, print books, magazine articles, guest blog posts, membership content, drip content. I want all of that done for you so that you can become an authority and be a published author literally in just one afternoon. I'm talking from idea to actually sending it off to transcriptions to, uh, to actually uploading it to Kindle. So that anytime you want, you can get free traffic, make free products, have free money on demand, or I'll give you your money back. And it's all inside of the Make a Product 3.0 course where you're going to get the 100 level series where we talk about how to do six minute articles from conception all the way to having them recorded in just six minutes. How to use that for lead generation, how to make reports, get joint ventures, and get emails in the 100 series lessons. I also want you to get the Make a Product 200 level series where you find out exactly how to dictate, how to manage your team, how to hire them, all of the cut and paste templates that Robert and I use ourselves to get all of our dictation made so that you can do article marketing and interviews. I also want you to have our, mo our module 300 course where we show you step by step how to plan your best selling book and what you need in a best selling cover. I want to show you exactly what to say, our exact formula for speaking out your next best selling book in one hour or less. I want to show you how to hire a professional editor for less than minimum wage and then I want to show you how to turn that into a Kindle book, a Create Space book and get your thousand downloads in just a single day. And that's all included inside of the Make a Product 300 level series. I think I just lost a screen here. There we go. So you're going to speak it out. You're going to also going to get along with the training the article crash course which is three sessions showing you how to write your own article, come up with your own information. We're going to give you a community where you can have some accountability and interaction. We're going to give you all of our outsourcing templates, everything that we use from higher outsourcing transcriptions to getting proofreading and to having your cover maids all in copy and paste format. You're also going to get 550 articles with PLR. You can do anything you want with them that were personally made and dictated by Robert Plank. You get challenges, replays for a total value of $4,640. But that's not what it's going to cost you today. Today it is just $497. But wait, there's more because most people buy a course, they start to go through it and they don't know what to do next. So think about this. What if you join Make a Product right now and you start on your book, get it all rolling out in the next few days, and then I came right over to your house, met you in person to get it perfect so that you could start using it to get traffic, make more money, and get more results out of it. Well, here's the thing. I'd love to do that for you, but I can't. So the next best thing that I can do for you is have you come over to mine. And in fact, I have you all scheduled for everybody that buys today to meet with Robert and I on October 12th and 13th, 2003 in Salt Lake City, where we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff about Amazon, about Kindle, about CreateSpace, a full day on day one talking specifically about your book and how to get more out of what you've already got from the Make a Product. And it's a two-day live intensive called Product University, and it's my bonus for you today to come and meet Robert and myself personally, just the two of us, to teach you everything that we know about using Amazon, about Kindle, and more. So think about it. This is a huge deal for $4.97 to have a book with your name on it, to be able to dictate out your next year's worth of articles in a day, to get even a handful of just articles and blog posts, to get your digital book finally published, to have a print book published, to get private label rights to not 100 but 550 quality articles and how you can run all of this on autopilot so you can repeat it as often as you want. You can even provide a transcription service to others 
and just play the middleman. And I told you it was 497, which is an incredible deal, but because you're here today, it's not 497. It's just $197. That's right. Go here right now to www.makeaproduct.com. That's M A K E A P R O D U C T dot com make a product dot com where you're going to get the 100 level series that takes you through all of your articles your lead generation your reports your joint ventures your emails you're going to get the 200 level series that shows you how to do all of your dictation all of your outsourcing all of your team management all of your article marketing all of the Kindle and create space interview stuff that you need and you're going to get how to do your entire book step by step how to speak it out in less than an hour how to hire a professional editor and how to get it on Kindle and create space and run your first promotion so you can get a thousand downloads in a single day you're going to get the article crash course the community with accountability interaction all of our outsourcing templates that we use every single day, the 550 PLR articles that you can even make a book out of if you wanted, challenges, replays, and you're also going to get the Product University live event and recordings October 12th and 13th in Salt Lake City, a total value of $15,777, yours today for just $1. 97 just 197 at makeaproduct.com but I wanted to do something extra special for some of you because I know that even at an outrageous deal at 197 it's still out of reach for a few of you and I want to make sure that every one of you can become the published authority that you deserve to be so if money really is the only issue to come see me and Robert live to get all of the trading for all of your stuff so you never have to write Again, I literally never write anymore. I haven't in four years. Then do you want to take it home today, all of it, today for just $39.95? That's right, $39.95 down payment. Today you can get everything you need to get started at makeaproduct.com. And here's the deal. You either get your book or product created, it's done in an hour using my system. Your published author on Kindle and Create Space, or you get your money back. It's that simple. And I'm going to make it affordable for everybody today. It's just $197 or five payments of $39.95. You can cancel at any time within the next 30 days. You can refund at any time within the next 30 days. The only thing is if you cancel a refund, you'll lose access to our templates, our training, our community, and you won't no longer be invited to the Product University Live event. And it's all waiting for you right now at makeaproduct.com. This is an offer that you must take up today. This is the best deal we've ever put together. You get all of the training, all of your outsourcing training, and the live two-day intensive, productuniversity.com. Go there right now at makeaproduct.com. That's M-A-K-E-A. P-R-O-D-U-C-T dot com. That's pro make a product dot com. I'll do it with you. M-A-K-E-A-P-R-O-D-U-C-T dot com where you're going to get all of the information on the course and a little video from me as well. You scroll down to the very bottom. You'll see the details on Product University Live, which all of you will be invited to and you're going to be able to pick your payment plan. One payment today of $197, five payments of $39.95. I can't wait to see your published book. I can't wait to meet you in Salt Lake City. And I can't wait to hear about your results as a published authority and author inside of makeaproduct.com. My name is Lance Tomashiro. Thank you very much for being here today. And I can't wait to meet you at makeaproduct.com. Dot com. Have a great day.